Hello, this is Mr. Evil Cheese, and this is my review of the Star Wars Disney Store exclusive Elite General Grievous action figure. And this is a die cast figure, and this is the first Elite figure that I have gotten. I wanted to get at least one of them just to see what it's like because it's die cast, it's got some metal parts, and just want to see what one is like. You see in the back of the package, there's a little description of General Grievous. And there's a couple of paragraphs about the Elite Series. And well, I think it's kind of cool they're made of metal, but uh, I already heard a couple bad things about this particular figure, so hopefully it's all right. But we're going to open it up and see. So let's open it up now. All right. So Zombie Cat magically appeared into this. I'm in here now. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> so there he is opened up, and I messed with him for a couple days, actually, after opening him. And... I like him, and I also don't like him. I think he looks really cool, with like right there. He looks awesome, and I do like his metal parts. But if you touch him, he'll probably fall over. Yes, he does not stand up very well. His joints are loose. I mean, some of them are tight, like his hips are kind of tight. The knees are kind of tight, but his arms are terrible. I will show you what happens, but his shoulders pop off easily. If you try to bend his elbows too much, they pop off. His head turns, but not a whole lot. I don't know what the deal is with this cape. Why is it wrapped around? Like it's just, it's like his cape is alive and it's strangling him or something. <laughs> the sculpt on it's pretty good though. Almost... Yeah, I've been annoying him because I've been calling him Count Dookie. And he's yeah. like, that's not Count Doku. And I'm like, no, it's Count Dookie. <laughs> <laughs> it's General Grievous. Nope, Count Dookie. But I, I do think he's cool. I got this one. I wanted one of the Elite figures because I just wanted one of the the metal ones to see what it's like. And they haven't made a Black Series version of him yet, so I figured I'd get this one. And the metal parts are cool, but there's a lot of plastic parts to it, too. I thought it'd be more metal. There's, like, I think his head's plastic. He's got parts of his hands and his feet are plastic. His, yeah, lots of plastic on it. But now we can Pretty much it. all that white shit's plastic. Well, a lot of it, yeah. They could have did a better job. I'll go over his torso more, but they could have did a better job of his torso because he's got a crazy looking torso in the movie. Okay. Oh, another problem he has is he doesn't hold his lightsabers very well. You just kind of got to stick them in there and balance them because he does not have a tight grip and you can't adjust his fingers. Yeah, look how loose that is. And this one, like, is really loose. You have to have it just kind of hanging in there. Yeah, they're all loose. So that kind of sucks. But... Now I'll show you what his... <laughs> what? Just picture him fighting and, and when he moves his arms, his lightsabers are just flopping around all over the place. Yeah. <laughs> but you can see his, his arms are both attached to the same sort of joint up here. And the joint they're attached to can move all together at the shoulder area. And then there's a joint for each arm separately. If you can understand what I'm trying to say there. See, both arms can move together like that. Well, there's one falling off. <laughs> <laughs> See, Good these, job. They fall off really easily. They don't stay up very well. Like, it's staying up now, but you get in a certain position and it doesn't want to stay up. Then you try to bend it at the elbow, and boop, just pops right out. <laughs> it makes that sound effect, too. It boop. goes boop every single time. And uh, that's rubber. And this is, this, this is rubber here, plastic, whatever. And this is metal. And then his arm is rubber again. It just feels rubbery is why I'm saying rubber instead of plastic. Let me get this big old cape off. And yeah, it's the same with this arm. And they, they'll just pop off pretty easily. See, it's staying up now. But usually they're just kind of like... <laughs> <laughs> Lightsabers falling everywhere. Yeah. I mean, I do, like, I do think he looks cool. That's the thing I like about him. I like his metal legs. And like there's... Oh, I see, it's it is kind of loose at the hips now. He's just floppy. That's one thing that sucks about things that have metal joints is they wear out a lot quicker than like plastic would. But that does look cool. Like I don't know when Black Series is going to come out with one, but I imagine if they do, it'll probably be a little more sturdy than this one. And uh, you can see his head, which is made of plastic. It's really hard plastic compared to the other plastic. But I like his little face. See his little one of the last bits of 
flesh that he has is his eye, around his eyes there. And he's got, like, it looks like double-jointed knees, but it seems like just the bottom part wants to move, so... It doesn't, I don't know if it's really double-jointed. I think it just looks like it's double-jointed, but it isn't really. You're blocking it with your hand. Sorry. And also, like, his legs are metal here, and then right here's metal. I think his knee's metal, too. But then down here at his foot, it's like the soft plastic. Just the foot part. This is also metal. And then the main part of his torso is metal. But that's where it looks kind of shitty, just that green in there. Because in the movie, you can see, like, in there and see, like, his inside parts in the movie. And you can't really see any of that there. It's just all green. And one thing that I did, I, it seems to be covered up by these pieces in the back here, is the holes that the screws go in. Because I've seen lots of pictures of other the other elite figures, and there's big holes where you can see the screws in going in there, but you can really only see this one here on him. Because the rest are all kind of covered up by these. It's, it's right there on his butt. You can kind of see that there will be one right there under the armor, but it's they're all hidden. So that's kind of cool. But even if they were there, this cape would cover it all. So here's his cape. It's a really stiff plastic. And they got that symbol painted on the back there. And the inside's really detailed. It's got this very textured... Reminds me of octopus. Yeah, octopus. They used to have little suckers in there. And Zombie Cat actually figured out that you can use this as a partial mask. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll show you that right now. Okay, so I've got my General Grievous cape mask on. <laughs> we need one that's opposite so you can have one on each eye, because that'd be yeah. a really fucking cool mask. I could just buy another one, and then they could, they could just look slightly different. That would be weird. I want the same. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And here's his four lightsabers. There's two blue and two green, as you can see. And they're all different. The handles are different on every one. The sculpt's different. These two are pretty similar, but they're, they're still slightly different. This one's the most different of them all. It's got a really big handle. And then this one's, uh, you know, different from all of them, too. So that's cool. Oh, and also the uh, like the blade part, whatever, doesn't come out of the handle like it does on the Black Series, so they're stuck this way. Okay, so as for the paint, the, the paint, the taint, the paint is okay. I like the this like sort of silvery paint. I think it could have been more silver though. It's kind of gray. It's but, almost like a gunmetal. But it's, well, maybe that's the color he is. I don't even know. But I forget. Oh no! I don't even know. I don't know shit. But the, <laughs> it looks metallic, so that's cool. Okay. I think we've demonstrated over and over again in our videos that we don't know shit. And I don't know. It looks like they got a smudge of this white paint there. It's not supposed to be there. So that you sucks. dicks! The green. I don't get the green. Like these. Well, I guess they had to paint something there. Um, I think I would have just made it black. Yeah. And like sort of bone color that they have of his armor up here. Looks like how it did in the movie, I think. He did a fairly good job painting his eyes and around his eyes. But he has this, like, Stormtrooper sort of, he has kind of a simple paint job, so there's not really a whole lot to go over. But they painted his cape really nice, though. And you can see they painted little details on his knuckles. Yeah, that's about it for paint. So now we're going to try to go over articulation, which is probably going to cause a lot of arms falling off. Let's start off with his head. His head can spin around like that. So, he can't look up and down very much though, but he can spin and look to the side. Now for the arms. You can keep the arms together and move it around here. There he goes, falling apart. Or they can also move separately, sort of, there. <laughs> See, this is what a lot of people I've seen hate this figure because of how easy the arms fall off, and I can see that. It is kind of ridiculous. But really, unless you're going to play with them, if you you can get him into a pose and then he's fine. If you can get that pose to hold, but um, yeah, he moves there, moves there, and then at the elbows he can move around like that. If you try to go too far, it pops out very easily. It's not even it feels like it's about to fall out. It just just falls out. It's like feels like it's going. It's going fine. It's fine. It's fine. Oh, it came out. <laughs> it doesn't feel like it's going to pop out until it actually does. And then his wrist can spin. That's about all that they can do. His fingers are very, very rubbery. 
But you can't position them. No. Which sucks. You can spin here at the torso all the way around. Can't lean forward or anything. And then got a ball joint at the hips, which is really good. Really good articulation of the hips, I'd say. And you can't do a split, but still pretty good. Then it's got that single joint, which I thought was a double joint, but it's not. It's a single joint at the knee, which it holds pretty well so far. No spinning, though. And uh, that's it for articulation. Okay, I'm having lots of trouble getting him in a position. I just want to do some comparisons to the Black Series. <laughs> he's holding that like <laughs> Well, he's... Yeah, he can't <laughs> hold them very well. I'm going to tap you. Tip arms, tap you with my lightsaber. His arms keep popping off. But these Elite figures are a little bigger than the Black Series figures. But with General Grievous, I don't think it matters that much just because he's big, so... And he's... Not really in the movies that much, so I can see him being that big. I'm fine with his height there. And uh, there's this isn't Black Series, but he's the same scale as Black Series. It's that was that Bandai Darth Vader building kit. Still look pretty cool together. I think that's a believable height. Like he isn't supposed to be that big, but he is bigger. So and one more. Here's Chewbacca. Oh. That's my Chewbacca noise. It's <laughs> magnificent. I think they look... See, I think he looks good. If you get him in a good position, I think he looks good. It's just getting him to stand in that position that's the issue. Yeah. With all of his arms attached. <laughs> <laughs> he also comes with this little base that has a peg on it, and he has peg holes in his feet, obviously. It says Star Wars on it. And uh, it kind of works, but as heavy as he is... Well, if he wants to fall over, he's still going to fall over if you don't got him in the right position. Because he, he'll just, he's just too heavy and he'll fall over with this attached. Or a pop off. I think they should have made his toes out of metal because part of the issue is he starts to lean over and his toe bends and he just falls. <laughs> they should have gave him like a metal base and magnet feet. That would be fucking awesome. <laughs> <laughs> magnet feet would be cool. When he's if he had magnet feet, he would never be on the base, though. He'd be stuck to every metal surface in the whole fucking house. Yeah, probably. <laughs> Equal your, your little magnet man. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, I don't know. I guess it'd be up to you if you want this, because, like I said, it's got problems. Its arms pop off super easily, and he doesn't hold his lightsabers very well. But he does look cool. Yeah, he looks really cool if you get him in position. Like, he's in a position now, he's staying, and I think he looks awesome. They did a good job of painting him, although there's a couple spots that are messed up on mine, like a smudge on his stomach. But I like the way they did his armor and his eyes. It looks really awesome. And I like him when he's holding all of his lightsabers. And Zombie Cat pointed out that maybe you guys could use some of them little clear rubber bands that come with some figures to hold the weapons in. And that'll probably keep his... Keep them lightsabers in his hands a little better. And if you don't have any clear rubber bands, you can usually find them with like hair ties and stuff at the store. The guys probably don't always know about that. Yeah, I don't remember. <laughs> but get the clear ones because if they're not clear, they'll look weird. But I got this on Disney's the Disney Store's website. You can find these in the Disney Store, but there's no Disney stores around here. There used to be one yeah, back they, in the day. They closed it down. So I ordered him on there. He's like $5 more than the Black Series. But it's understandable because they're a little bigger and they're metal. But, I don't know. I think they're cool. I don't think I'm going to get uh, any more unless they make a character. I'm like, oh, I got to get that one. But, yeah, I like him. I think he's cool. But, yeah, some people I can understand will not like to his problems. Yeah, it's like he's really cool. But he does have serious issues. It just depends on how you weigh them out. Yeah. <laughs> Well, this is Mystery of Chief. And I'm Zombie Cat. And thanks for watching and goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> How are you going to defeat me, Jedi? I got four lightsabers. Oh no. I don't know how I'm going to defeat you. Well, I'll just end this quick. <laughs> oh, I still got three. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Oh, well, I still got two, like, ah, oh, shit. One more. Are you ready, Jedi? I ain't gonna drop this one. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> I can still kick you. <laughs> Don't get the leg off of me.
Who the hell built that thing? <laughs> oh, damn it, man. You see them other pictures there? Why don't you click on one of them to see the video? Or you could subscribe and eat. Oh, damn it.